Hello Planet Chinchilla fans. Today we are coming to you with a special blog post about if chinchillas are friendly or not. So let's go ahead and get that started right now. All right, guys, as promised, we are going to cover if chinchillas are friendly or not in today's video. A couple of quick cleanup items. First and foremost, thanks for stopping by the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe by hitting the little notification down below, the little bell. If you like these videos, please like them. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. And the other big update that I've been putting in all of these videos is that on any of the blog posts across Planet Chinchilla, Dot com. These are going to start being a regular thing. Um, I've kind of noticed from listening to people who read these blog posts that we've got some visual learners that like to watch a quick video instead of reading 2,000 words on the topic. So these will be a regular thing. We will obviously try and continue to improve them. And another big thing is if you are a new chinchilla owner, um, pay close attention when you are reading these blog posts throughout them for the blue links throughout the post. Um, those will take you to any of my other 120 posts about what you need to be expecting as a new chinchilla owner. Um, everything from diet to behavior to hygiene, dust baths, accessories, cages, you name it, it's on there. Use those links to your advantage, guys. Um, when I first got started owning a chinchilla, I did not have very good resources outside of forums and Facebook groups. So. That is why Planet Chinchilla exists, is to help you. Those blue links will help you. They're not taking you anywhere crazy. They're just taking you to other blog posts on my website about that specific topic. Anyways, back to if chinchillas are friendly, let's go ahead and jump into those details now. First and foremost, yes, chinchillas are friendly, guys, but it does take time. Let me go ahead and shift this camera over to my chinchilla now so that you guys can kind of take a peek at what's going on. But yes, these guys are extremely friendly. It does take time though. Um, it doesn't happen overnight. She's still a little camera shy. She's sleeping somewhere in this nesting box to see if we can get her to come out a little bit. There she is. <laughs> they are extremely friendly guys, but it does take a little bit of time before they completely warm up to you. I would say a couple weeks, depending on how much effort you put into it, which you should be putting in, you know, a substantial amount of effort to get that going. I'm not gonna let her out right now because that would probably ruin this video. Um, this is my biggest recommendation is this playpen for anybody, whether you have a safe room or not. Um, reason being is if you get in there with your chinchilla, it forces a close interaction. Um, they're going to warm up to you way faster. If you do something like this, I didn't even realize that that would happen when I bought this, um, pop up little play tent here. This just zips over the top. You got two doors on it. It's got pouches down below so that you can keep all of your necessities in there. Um, I typically only use this now for videos, sometimes a dust bath if I have company coming over so it stays clean down here. For any of you who don't know, when these guys take a dust bath, um, uh, the dust on their feet and everywhere else, it just gets everywhere. So if you wanna contain it a little bit, use a pop-up little play tent like this. But yeah, guys, I mean, as far as friendliness, you're not going to be um, getting bit by these guys or anything crazy in most situations. I mean, I have read the stories where if you get them from like a, re a rescue or even a pet store, if they haven't been socialized, it can take even longer for them to warm up to you. Um, but that again, it, it all comes back to effort on your guys's ends. I mean, if you can make them trust you quickly, you're not going to need to worry about that when they, it's like a dog when they're young. I mean, they might nibble, um, but they know how hard they're biting. And there's tips and tricks. I mean, just go to the blog post on this website, for example, about if chinchillas bite, and you can learn all about that. That's one of those examples, by the way, of using the links throughout these posts to your advantage. It's all there for you. For the new chinchilla owners, if you know what you're doing, do whatever you want at that point. But for the new chinchilla owners, um, you know, these guys aren't gonna attack you or anything crazy. Um, she's been through one period where she did spray urine. <laughs> at me in the very beginning and that was it i mean she was just scared it was a new environment give them time to warm up to you before doing anything crazy um, get them out of the cage as often as possible 
pet them, you know, start holding them, handling them, talking to them, whatever you got to do. But yes, guys, chinchillas are friendly. If you're thinking about one, get one. They're awesome pets. Um, they're clean. They're just awesome in every fashion possible, basically, outside of, you know, needing to sweep up a little dust if you let them take their dust bass out in the open. But yeah, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Make sure, again, to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, this blog post, if you are on YouTube and not on the blog right now, you can just simply type into Google, are chinchillas friendly? Should be like somewhere in the top five there on the first page. Um, it's planetchinchilla.com, P-L-A-N-E-T, chinchilla.com. Just click that. You can read all about it. If you're on the blog post, use those links to your advantage. You like, subscribe as well, and we appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.